Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and welcome to another weasel vlog. I'm outside walking around because it helps me relax, you know. So by the time you watch this, or probably by the time this thing is done uploading, my channel will be fundamentally different. Okay. It won't be fundamentally different. The videos will be the same. Same content, same semi-guaranteed schedule, but with one difference. My layout will look like this. It's called One Channel. I call it Shit Channel. Because I'm creative. Fucking thing looks just awful. And of course, because life is wonderful, YouTube has decided to give us no option. Starting tomorrow, everyone's channel will look like my first website. I don't get it. What was wrong with the old channels? Was it the background? Was it the ease of organization? Was it because it didn't look like a padded cell? Was it because it looked unique to the individual? I mean, look at this thing. I can't make heads or tails of it, and I'm gonna have to make content for it. I've gotta make the banner. And then I have to make some kind of trailer video to put at the front so everyone knows what the channel's about. Well, okay, to be honest, a channel called Cute Fuzzy Weasel is only gonna be a certain number of things. And I guess none of them really correspond to feeding the trolls. I mean, that's not all I do, but okay, fine, a trailer video fine. I mean, it's not like I couldn't do that before, though, you know? And I heard you can't set your videos to rotate, and I don't know if that's true, but... <sighs> it, is, it seems... The whole channel layout seems like... It, just, it seems like a step backward. I don't know, and... You know, again, we don't have any damn choice in it, and it's gonna... It's just gotta happen. It's just gotta happen. Actually, you know, I, I don't get that. Why... Why give us the option to switch if you're just going to turn around and make it mandatory to switch? It'd be like if I rigged an election only to two months later come out and say, yeah, the election was rigged. No, that's not a good example. What's a good example? Okay, I got one. It'd be like if I ran a website and gave someone the opportunity to switch to a really horrible channel layout and then two months later made it mandatory. That's what it's like. But... Doesn't matter, I mean, we're all gonna deal with it. It's just gonna happen. And we'll all complain and say, oh God, this thing's a piece of garbage. Oh, look at it, it's horrible. There's liquid feces dripping out of my computer screen. I am Gorgo and Mormo of the Thousand Faced Moon. But after a year and a half, we'll be like, yep, yeah, that's the channel. And then YouTube will come out with another channel layout, probably looking like this. Maybe they're switching over to this new channel layout, for smartphones, which just brings up a whole other set of complaints. Why does everything gotta look like a damn smartphone? YouTube, websites, fucking computers. Like my new computer, it runs on Windows 8. And the thing looks like a, it, it looks like a smartphone. I didn't spend $1,500 to get a giant smartphone that doesn't make calls. And you know why it all has to look like a smartphone? To appeal to you young people. Yes, you young people with your smartphones and your websites and your hair. Why, back in my day, we used to, we used to something in reference to something old and ironic. Now that I've taken care of that topic that I was, let's be honest, obligated to do, I'd like to cover two things and news that are going to be coming up for the channel, aside from tomorrow's shitification of its layout. Number one, I'd like to actually start doing a Q&A. You know, once every week or so, take 10 questions, select it at random, and answer them in front of the camera. Something simple, you know, it's, it's more just to keep me occupied. So if you have any questions you'd like me to answer, list them in the comments below, and I'll use the D&D dice roller to figure out which ones are interesting. And number two, I'm coming up on an anniversary. No, not anything to do with the channel or anything, but an anniversary of a Minecraft map. See, I only recently got into the whole Minecraft thing, like, last year, around this time. And my first map, which has actually been my primary map, the one that I've been working on since the 26th of last June, is coming up on its one year anniversary. Now, since I've been working on it as my primary and only interesting Minecraft map for the better part of 
a year, there's a ton of stuff on it. Things that I've built, things that I've buried. It's got a city and several small towns all scattered around it. Not to mention, it's chocked full of creepy pasta. And I know how much you guys like creepy pasta. Or at least I know how much I like creepy pasta. Ah, I see. There's a hint to something. The point is, in celebration of its one year anniversary of usage, I'm going to be releasing it to the public. So around the 26th of June, I'll be making a video kind of going over and detailing all the little things in the map. And I'll throw a download link inside and you can go in and, and check out all the little things that I've done. And like I said, it's full of hidden things. So it's a lot like a treasure hunt. Anyway, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel and uh, stay tuned for a new episode of Brody's Mind coming up within the next 24 hours or so.